the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Luke chapter 1 verse 35 If the Son of God has been born into my human flesh, then am I allowing His holy innocence, simplicity, and oneness with the Father the opportunity to exhibit itself in me. What was true of the Virgin Mary in the history of the Son of God's birth on earth is true of every saint. God's Son is born into me through the direct act of God. Then I, as his child, must exercise the right of a child. The right of always being face to face with my Father through prayer. Do I find myself continually saying in amazement to the common sense part of my life? Why did you want me to turn here or to go over there? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Luke chapter 2 verse 49 Whatever our circumstances may be, that holy, innocent, and eternal child must be in contact with his father. Am I simple enough to identify myself with my Lord in this way? Is he having his wonderful way with me? Is God's will being fulfilled in that his son has been formed in me? See Galatians chapter 4 verse 19 or have I carefully pushed him to one side? Oh, the noisy outcry of today. Why does everyone seem to be crying out so loudly? People today are crying out for the Son of God to be put to death. There is no room here for God's Son right now. No room for quiet, holy fellowship and oneness with the Father. Is the Son of God praying in me, bringing honor to the Father? Or am I dictating my demands to Him? Is He ministering in me as He did in the time of His manhood here on earth? Is God's Son in me going through His passion, suffering, so that His own purposes might be fulfilled? The more a person knows of the inner life of God's most mature saint, the more he sees what God's purpose really is to fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ. Colossians chapter 1 verse 24 And when we think of what it takes to fill up there is always something yet to be done.